What's up guys, welcome to your 28th C++ tutorial. And in case you uh, just popped in and felt like uh, watching this tutorial and didn't watch my last one, in the last tutorial we built a program and I showed you guys how to protect data when you pass an array into a function. So we entered a dollar amount for each item using a function like 32, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we just made another function to spit it all out. And in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is instead of protecting that data so it doesn't change, what if you want to build a function so that it does change? Well, let's do that right now. So we int, we got a function called int populate, which created an array, and void spit, which spit out the array, or pretty much displayed it. Let's go ahead and build another function right now. And what this is going to do is change the value of the array. So we don't want it to return anything. So let's just put void revalue. Make sure I spell that right. And it's going to take uh, three parameters. The first one is the factor that you want to revalue it by. So double and put something like r for a revalue. And now after this, go ahead and insert your array. So double bucky as a second parameter. So the second parameter is going to take an array and then put int n for just the uh, limit of your array or how many it has so our loop knows how many times to go so now we just need to build a basic for loop so just write for int i equals zero just like last time i is less than n and that's going to be how big our array is that we passed in and then our last parameter is i plus plus so just so we can iterate through the loop now you can put your curly braces or not I always like to have mine just cuz just cuz I do and now what we want to do is take that array Bucky not Ucky Bucky I and every time it gets an element in array it's gonna take that value in oh man here we go times equal to R and what this is gonna do is whenever it gets say the value is like 32 it's gonna times it by R and say if r is 2 and then that is going to be equal to 64 so bucky i times equals r is the exact same thing as bucky i equals bucky i times r so now that we got this made let's go ahead and prototype it go ahead and copy it right here and then go ahead in your beginning and paste it to prototype it and now we need to go ahead and call the function or the function that we just built. So let's just go ahead and first make a prompt. So put C out and then go ahead to like something um enter factor to multiply by did I actually spell that right? Wow impressive. And then um just put that yeah, looks good right there. And make sure you end your line with a semicolon. And then we need of course um What's called a variable. There we go. I had a mind blank for a second, and then give them an opportunity to enter that variable. So what enter whatever number they enter is going to be stored in the variable factor. So now we need to pass that in their function that we just built. So we had a function called revalue, and it took three parameters. Remember, the first one is factor. The second one is the um, what did we name it? The second one is the array, and we named ours items. And third one is the size of the array. And uh, I think, well, let's just pass in five. There we go, looks good. Let's see, spit, yep, looks good. So now we have a factor, which is the whatever number we're gonna enter, items, which is the array. And since it has five items in it, rate five. Now, after that, what, we, what do we wanna do after we change the array? Well, we need to spit it out again or display it. So go ahead and put spit items five. Put your semicolon. And then after this, um, let's just give them something like a nice little done. And in the line for good measure. So now let's go ahead and first see if it works. And then if it does, I'll walk you guys through it and show you guys why it did. If it doesn't, I'll show you guys where I messed up. Come on, here we go. Enter dollar for items one. 32, I always start with 32, I don't know why. 45, 6, 76, and 21. 
and now this spits out the exact same array remember this is the one where we didn't want to change the data so we used a constant and now the one where we do want to change the data we don't use a constant so go ahead and type a factor by two or something now it spits out the exact same array but all of the numbers are times by two so instead of 32, 45 you got 64, 90, 12 is double six 152 is double 76 and 42 is double 21 so the point of these tutorials to show you is this anytime you want to keep an array the same you use constant anytime you want to change the value of it when you're building a function you don't use that constant keyword so again if you want to just keep it the same like when you're just displaying data make sure you use constant and when you're changing it do not use constant or it isn't going to work so again what we did in this tutorial was we built a function that took three parameters we went through the loop or we went through the array and gave each um, array item a new value and then up here we just said alright what do you want to multiply it by alright that's what we're going to multiply it by so that's the value we're going to pass in our function and now we're just going to spit it out and bam you're done so thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned how to protect data in an array and also how to destroy data in an array so that's it for this tutorial um, make sure you watch the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time thanks for watching